actually started working um, in 2005 when Hurricane Katrina hit. Um, I've always been interested in helping people. It's just something that I have really done all my life, just the desire to work with. Um, when I see people who have been less off than me or people who have had problems, I've just been drawn to wanting to do that. And when Hurricane Katrina hit, the, the extent of the disaster um, and problems that ensued from that, um, becoming a member of the Red Cross was something that I knew that I wanted to do. 90% of the Red Cross is volunteer work. These mm. are volunteers, they are not paid. They have a desire to help people um, at a moment's notice. What I do, I'm a mental health um, Red Cross volunteer and I'm also a disaster assistance team. So what that means is at any time if I get a call, uh, for example this morning I got called there was a fire in Danbury um, the call that I received this morning was about the fact there were three families that were affected um, and can you please provide mental health assistance and support to those families. And I what happened with that fire in Naugatuck is I received a call approximately 7, 730 in the morning that there had been a fire and that the Red Cross was responding to that, could I meet them there? Um, and in my role both as mental health and disaster. The United Way um, provides monies, you know, they raise funds um, to donate to various organizations and the Red Cross has benefited significantly from the donations that United Way has provided to us. Um, because the Red Cross is dependent upon these donations to be able to provide the food, the shelter, the supplies that we may need to support these families. I had made contact with these two families and talked to them, asking them, how are you doing? Really, it's about emotional support after a fire because often these families are in shock. They're not sure what to do. If they've lost everything, um, the shock that ensues, the, the emotions that come with that, sometimes makes it difficult to figure out what do I do at this point. And so what we do as uh, volunteers is to provide that support, continue to direct them to um, the steps necessary so that they can rebuild their lives, to provide hope, to continue to provide the support that they need so that they can move forward and know that it is possible. To do that. The Red Cross is dependent on volunteers. We simply cannot deliver our mission and our services without folks who, you know, step up to volunteer um, in their community. And so we're always looking for people to become disaster action team volunteers where they can come out in their communities, uh, put on a disaster vest and help those in need, um, usually affected by home fires, but it can be anything, um, any type of disaster really. The Red Cross is always there uh, to respond to people in need. And we can do that because uh, folks decide to donate their time and volunteer with us. So to get involved with Red Cross, the best thing you can do is visit redcross.org slash CT um, and click on the volunteer link and you can sign up there.